Hi guys, Mark Savage here and ready for our long journey. Right, what have we got today? Triumph Trophy and we've got luggage. So how do we get all this lot, all this lot on this bike? Let's see, shall we? Panniers all open. Let's see if they fit in. One. Two. Three. And a tank bag. Wasn't gonna put this on. Found it had so much stuff. Only gone away for two days. Clip in. And. Clip on. Not sure how I'm gonna get on with this. Let's have a quick look. All right, I ain't got to sit on it. Still in the radio. Right, safety gear. And I've done that before. Let's just get it on normally. So, we're about 80 miles so far. One thing I suggest you do when you get a new motorcycle. Sat nav. How about you make sure that it's not set to avoid motorways and tolls? Because when you want to go on the M25, it has tried to turn me off every single junction, like 20 of them. It got silly, so we decided to have a quick break. So what's it up with the full luggage? Um, two up, full luggage. Yeah, it's a little heavy, um, but because I've put the lowering kit and I'm flat footed, I've got to say it's much better. It says we can do 260 miles still, so that's pretty good to be honest with you. Averaging about 50 miles a gallon, doing 70-ish. Right, halfway, next time, we'll see you in Portsmouth. Well, waiting for the ferry. There it is. A 360 and just got to sit on the bike. We're early, so we've got to stay with the bike. About five minutes. Next one on the ferry. You know those road works I'm doing a video. So there we have it, we're on the ferry. We're just leaving Portsmouth, we're going to Isle of Wight. So far road trip, 140 miles. <sighs> bike was doing average 50 miles a gallon it still stuck and do 200 miles so i'll keep an eye on that but there and back on a full tank will be brilliant spoke to the wife the gear change is so smooth the seat was smooth we did stop i didn't really feel i needed to but we're not going to try and do long journeys without stopping there most people do stop so so far it's all good well we made it bloody hell is it a hilly place to go does my hair look good <laughs> I mean hills. I'm very glad this is shaft drive and it's quite new. Um, I've only had a 30, 40,000 mile chained bike. Some of these hills and stopping on these hills like this would have really, really given it some. However, fully loaded, we're all here. Gear change was lovely. Acceleration was great. Uh, not even used half a tank. The ferry was a bit funny. You don't have to chain them down or nothing. You might have to put them down, but you don't. You just literally just leave it sideways. We were crammed in with all the coaches. So, bit of diesel eating there. However, the bike's performance has been brilliant. Wife, what do you think so far? Really good. Banging heads or anything with the gear changes? No banging Very heads. Very smooth? Yes. How about your posterior on this lovely <laughs> soft seat? <laughs> lovely and comfortable. She didn't use the heated button on here. I was going to turn it on before she got on there, but I'd probably got a slap in the back of the head. And then we'd have to pull over and explain how to turn it off. I wish she had cooked the button. Anyway, luggage all in here. Um, I did find this a little crowded. However, brilliant. You know, I had my drinks in there and the maps and everything else we needed. Sat nav was okay, um, but as I said, someone had set it unfortunately on um, detour, so no motorways, no toll roads. So every couple of seconds, someone get me off the M25. That was really bloody annoying. So if you get a new bike, make sure someone hasn't set it on tourist mode. Radio, brilliant. I heard it really well actually. I've listened to Radio 1 all the way here. Um, I wish probably it was DAB, but it's not, so you get what you put up with. I suppose the newer models might be. Right, we are going to get in. We are going to book in, hopefully, get all our stuff off the bike, and then get our summer gear on, because it's a lovely day here. I'm going to show you a quick view. Look at that for a view. So, lovely hotel, and uh, we're going to go down there, I think. So, here we are in the hotel. 
look at that view. What more could you want? Oh, maybe a swimming pool. So where are we anyway? We're in the Bourne Hotel here in Shanklin in the Isle of Wight. Hence the sign says it all. It has been a bloody marvellous day. To be honest with you, we've had two lovely days here in Shanklin in the Isle of Wight. Yes, the bit of wind, but you know what? It's quite nice. The drive into this, well, it's rubble, which worries you when you first ride in here, but this is really well compacted down, so I would definitely say motorbike friendly. Something you're gonna have to get used to here in the Isle of Wight, hills, and I mean a bloody lot of hills. However, it is bloody lovely. And to the bike. Pretty, pretty place. Some people said it's dated, but do you know what? I quite like that to watch you. We're down the front today, nice ice cream. Paid a bit of crazy golf, you know, the wife loves that. Um, reasonably priced as well. But getting back to the bike, it's been very nice. We've left this here and we've walked. But it's Shankling in the Isle of Wight friendly to bikes. Yes, it is, but like I said, lots of hills. You will be using the clutch a lot. Um, I noticed. So, would I come back to the Isle of Wight? Yes. And back here? Yeah, more than likely I would actually. A couple of days have been lovely. If you've got the weather like we've had, and I do mean the weather. It has been absolutely gorgeous. Views here are very nice. And if I go right up, you can see down there, that's where we were, that's right down to the seafront. Very nice. Places to eat. You can get cookies, donuts, and cream teas coming at your ears. There are some nice pubs as well. Um, all reasonably priced, you know, 10 pound meal jobbies. Um, fish and chips, gotta say that's great. Do eat a lot of that. Maybe a diet next. Through these couple of steps, this little path down another couple of steps it's like a little secret garden isn't it all right we have an outdoor swimming pool which I have to say we have been in today and A quite respectable indoor pool. There's some good lengths in here. Nice and warmies. Small but usable hot towel. So this hotel comes as a three star by the enjoyengland.com jobby. I mean, the main reception, you get the swimming towels in here, nice stairs, nice day room, and you get breakfast here. It's all in for bed and breakfast. Um, evening meals, not quite sure about that. Um, but otherwise, just pop downtown like we have done. But it is a walk up and down. You've got to expect that though. So a quick look inside. Main reception, just to your left. I said, you can get your towels from there. My staircase, very simple bar. Nice reception room. We got to see England play last night. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, enough. And this is where you get breakfast. Not too crowded. Bloke comes, takes your order, and you get what you ask for. As for our room, well, quaint, purposeful little bathroom, little hallway. Yeah, we got our mess in it, but hey, we're living here, aren't we? Double bed. I love the fact you got a little fridge and a cup of tea. Got a big cup of tea, ain't ya? Eat well, that is tiny, but you got a big one downstairs. But the views come on. I didn't even close the curtains last night. Why would you close the curtains on that beautiful view? And there's the pool again. So I just bumped into a fellow motorcyclist. He actually lives on the island. He said to me, Ventnor, go for the Needles, Military Road. Really nice place to ride, he said. He didn't want to be on camera though. A bit camera shy. However, it's always nice meeting a fellow motorcyclist. Bristol, Steve, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, nice look inside, seen the room. The hotel, we paid £210 for two nights. Not bad, if I'm honest with you. Nice room, four poster bed, shower, swimming pool, nice walks. I'll come here again. So we say goodbye to the Isle of Wight, back on the ferry. Yeah. And we're moving pretty sharply as well. Yeah. We did get on the ferry uh, two hours early, but it still let us on. Don't mind about motorbikes. Yeah. Cars, they'll keep their motorbikes, they'll just cram you on anyway. A bit worried they didn't. Uh, tie the bike down but it's a big ferry doesn't seem to move so this is the weather they said we were going to have a bit dull still 
little sunburn though. Anyway, next, Portsmouth, and then all the way back home again. Well, it went from seven miles down to zero. So nearly 290 miles, I thought I might get the station, but I panicked. So, here we are, petrol station. Let's see how many litres I fill in it. I'm sure I've got a 26 litre tank. So we had, I don't know, a bit of vapour there, 0.4 litres. That's not bad. Oh, hello. You were sitting comfortably. A couple of you asked me how the dash cam was going. So I'm going to add a little section here. The first clip you'll see, me and the wife riding along, and I can see in the mirror a motorbike coming, weaving, weaving, weaving. And it went straight past me, it stayed. A few cars, that was a police car. His registration plate was completely blurred out. So I said to the wife that he'll go left, inside lane, come back out again, and come back out. Exactly what he did, blue lights came on. Didn't get out and recorded. What I did get, if you'll see this next clip, just on the left hand side, you'll see flashing lights and a motorbike. Next clip we'll see is after the police car went off, he hammered by us again. But a little bit few clips for you. You get front and back view. I did have the sound on, and obviously I've got the radio on, it's doing 70 miles an hour, it's a bit windy, but the sound's not important. The quality of a DVR is. So watch these three next clips, and then back in the shed. and it said 26 litres. I reckon I got 25-ish, so to go from five miles to zero, a little bit scary, but got us there, got us back, no problems at all. Wife, how comfortable? Comfortable. There you go. Got the thumbs up from the wife. Stop on the way back, so that was 145 miles, straight journey. I kept indicating to the wife whether she wanted to go over in the services, and she said, No, I'm okay. There you go. <laughs> thumbs up from the wife. Thumbs up from... As for the radio, I know I said it's a gimmick, but do you know what? I actually really enjoyed having it on. Often, as a motorcyclist does a bit of touring, you know, you start humming in your head and thinking of things, you know, and um, you have a person on sometimes, so you've got it in your ears and it pushes in your ears, or one of the plugs fall out, or you've got it too loud and you can't adjust it, and when you stop, when you turn around, you can't hear. All of that, one button up, down when I want it to. Um, it scanned through the radio stations when I um, could have DAB on it. I'm guessing the newer version may have DAB radio, this hasn't, so it scanned through to the radio one, it was fine. So, thumbs up for the radio, wind protection fine, didn't have any rain. Really enjoyed the trip in Portsmouth, and then going across to the Isle of Wight. Um, the ferry was brilliant, I've got to say, with cars, they charge a bit more and they mesh around a little bit more. Um, you've got to be bang on your times. My bike, we turned up two hours early on the way back, hour and a half on the way there, and just pull in, mate, away you go. So we were straight on there. I was worried about the bike on the stand. Didn't move, didn't fall over. You know, you really can't knock it. So all round, enjoyable. Hope you've liked the video. It's a long journey. I don't know where we're going to go. Why I said Guernsey. Um, then we found there's eight hours. Uh, that's not happening. It was like 250 pounds. That's not happening either. And you can get fly there for 35 pound each. So, maybe fly, not take the bike. Like, share, subscribe, do your bits. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves on the road.